hey guys, my homemade wooden snowplow. So the plow is completely built out of wood, except for the piece of metal on the bottom and the fasteners that hold it together. So this plow here is a remake of the original plow I built when I was a kid. So the original plow that I built was mounted on a Nissan Micra. Now this one here is hooked to a four-wheel drive Toyota Corolla. So the original plow that was on the Nissan Micra, that plow, I used it for about eight years. And so I figured I might as well just copy that design because it worked. So this one here is basically identical except for the boards on the front. They are two by eight and the original plow had slabs. They're cut off pieces off of logs. And I use them instead of the two by eights. So all the wood on this plow is leftovers and the bolts were recycled from the first plow. I did buy a few uh, new bolts for it and some screws. So this plow here is more like a bulldozer. You can't angle the plow, you can only push forward. Uh, but it does work, it works fine. There's just a way of you have to, to operate it. So now I'm gonna show you some footage of me testing it out for the first time. So let's get plowing. Okay, so I'm gonna fire it up and see if it'll push the snow over here. So I'm gonna see if I can plow out here. We'll do a little view in the car. See what it can do. No problem. So now to get out of here, you have to kind of make a little spot for yourself, get it rounded out because it's not like a normal uh, snowplow. You can't angle it, but it works fine. Uh, people have criticized it because it doesn't tilt, but <laughs> I don't give a crap because it works. So, you know, just because you can't angle it doesn't mean it. It still doesn't still doesn't do the job. You just have to work it a little differently. Now I'll just cut in on the side here. Take a quick look at the construction of it. Now basically these are the control arms which are attached to the car. I have a piece of quarter inch steel angle iron on here 
and it's welded to the car, and then I also have it bolted into the rad saddle. So I'll look under here how it's bracketed to the car. Now these control arms are attached to these 4x4s here. So we have a 4x4, 2x4s, and it goes up to the bracketing for the plow. So the bracket on the plow is basically uh, 2x8s, and they go completely right down to the ground. So these 2x6s here give you the angle on the top and the angle on the bottom, and then in the middle here it's just flat. So it, it's really simple how this is put together. And I have some pieces of steel uh, on the bottom so it, it scrapes along the ground. I've, I've screwed and bolted it together because the screws will actually break over time. So you want to have bolts when you put these things together because there's a lot of twisting going on. So there's bolts in everything uh, and even these boards are bolted on. So I'm going to make another video and go into detail on how it's put together and what type of materials. Well, that was the homemade snowplow built from wood, and thank you for watching.